Here we're going to go over solving this system of equations using the elimination method. But we first need to slightly modify one or both of the equations. Because ideally we want it in a format such as this, where you have something like the x's, where you notice that this is 3x and this is negative 3x. Because they are the same numbers, but different signs, one's positive, one's negative, when we add them together, they will be eliminated. And we'll end up with something like this that we can now solve easily for y. But for our problem, it's not in that format. We can't just add them together and eliminate the x's or eliminate the y's. So we're looking for the easiest way to modify one or both of them so that we can do that. I always look to see, first off, if there's one that doesn't have a coefficient, that has a coefficient of one, because that one's easy to change. Like this one right here, x. I can multiply that by a number and change it to negative two x, for example. If it was negative two x, then when I add these two together, the x's will be eliminated. So what I need to do is multiply that entire first equation by negative two. So I just draw myself a line. I'm gonna write multiply by negative two. I'm gonna multiply each one. So this is now negative two x. This multiply by negative two is negative six y. And this multiply by negative two is negative 12. My second equation, I'm gonna leave as it is. So I'm just gonna rewrite that And now we have two equations that when we add them together, the x's are eliminated. Remember, when you're adding them, you're looking at each column. So if I add that these x's together, they go away. When I add these y's together, I get negative 13y. When I add these constants together, I get negative 13. Now I have an equation that I can easily solve for y by undoing that multiplying by dividing by negative 13. And I see that y equals one. So we're halfway there. We know what y is, we need to know what x is. What the next step says is substitute what that variable equals, the y equals one, into either one of the original equations. So it doesn't matter which one I use, I'm gonna pick the first one because it looks a little bit easier as far as the numbers, but this, you'll get the same answer for x if I use the second equation instead. So I'm gonna write that down, but now instead of y, I wanna know what is x when y is one. So instead of three times y, I'm gonna do three times one. And this is the equation I'm gonna solve. So my first step is to simplify. Three times one is just three. And then undo my addition. And I see that x is three. Now you could write your answer as x is three, y is one, or you can rewrite it as that coordinate when x is three, y is one.